<clears throat> collective, I was sitting here and I was meditating on y'all's energy. And the first thing spirit showed me was there was what looked to be an official person knocking on the door. You open it, they hand you a very thick packet of paper and an envelope. They were serving you some kind of papers. It's not what you think, just, just let me finish. Um, you open it as this person standing there in front of you, because you had, I guess you had to sign for it or something. And you open it and I see a death certificate an envelope that looks like it might have been handwritten and a stack of documents. I'm being shown the words entitlement, compensation, maybe family member of some sort. You may be, somebody may have had to serve paperwork so you can get the compensation you deserve. I feel like somebody's coming, an official person's coming to tell you that somebody passed on it may have been left in their will to have it done specifically like this because of the relationship that you may have collective with this person's community. You had to be informed this way so you were able to receive the abundance that was left to you. There may be somebody trying to contact you and communicate with you. Pay attention to the phone numbers calling you, the emails, the people that... Just pay attention to what's happening around you. Wait for like wait and and wait and see if there's any signs or synchronicities that may start showing themselves to you that may lead you to this point. Okay. Something serious is happening in the ethers right now. The universe is preparing you for something major. I'm talking major, major. So that was the message. That's the opening message. I want to get some more um, information about that. Let's see. I have uh, three decks out on the table, and we're going to use the um, uh, An Angels and Ancestors deck to start. We're going to uh, bless and sage. I saw 222 on the timer. Um, let's bless and sage and uh, get going. Holy Spirit, please continue to protect and guide me through this energy reading for our collective. Please allow your angels and my ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides that have ascended to your highest white light to continue to protect and guide me through this reading. Please allow me to channel clear, honest, and precise messages for our collective, and please cast all evil and darkness that may linger any evil eyes. Please send them back to where they come from tenfold. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. I love and appreciate all of you, and thank you so very much for being here. All right. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to use the uh, angels and ancestors to get an idea of what's going on. So I want to know, this is an inheritance I'm being told. It's a spiritual inheritance. Your souls, your soul's inheritance, you have been deprived, neglected, cast aside, shunned, if you will, turned away, whatever the case may be, possibly by this person or by this person's community that forced this person to stay in separation from you. There's going to be some kind of correspondence here. You are there. Like I said, when that official person comes and hands you those papers, serves you the, the, the death certificate and all of these things, and you open it, I saw an envelope that had handwriting on it. It may be a letter this person wrote to you to tell you the whole story. It's their way of giving you closure and the truth and honesty that you so desperately deserved about this situation. Okay. This person may have some serious secret feelings about you I'm being told I'm talking like if they wouldn't have allowed their community to manipulate the way that they interact with you the way that they um, allowed you in, your, in their life all of that I truly feel that you may have been able to prolong what is inevitably going to happen to us all Okay. I don't care. You know, I was reading something or not reading something. I was watching something. There's a woman, I don't remember her name, but she's a North Korean woman that escaped and 
uh, you've probably seen her on the social media, but she talked about how, I don't remember her name, damn, I wish I could, she's a beautiful woman. Anyway, she was saying that there is a, a team of scientists working around the clock to find a way to keep King John, Kim Jong-un alive forever, to immortalize him. Look, if that actually happens, God bless. But the thing is, is we are all organic beings and we are not meant to be here for eternity, okay, at all. It, it's not possible. There's no sorcerer's stone that produces the elixir of life, at least not that we've found yet. And, you know, we have to understand that our time here is very short. This time is sacred time. You are here to learn. You are here to grow. You are here to meta to morph your soul into this into the entity that it is to ascend to the purest white light, so you can you can do all the things that you are meant to do in this in this existence. Five five five. Okay, and the, and on it for eternity, because you don't just live here on this portion of the timeline. Your soul will live on forever. The only thing immortal about you is your soul, not the physical meat bag we're in. Okay, and if this person is on at, sitting at death's door as we speak and their family is keeping them from you or they're keeping themselves from you to, to appease their family, I'm telling you, they're already preparing a way for you to get some kind of closure. They're preparing to take care of you after they're gone. They want to see you happy. They want to heal their part of the soul the best that they can before they leave this place. They want to make sure that you're taken care of. They want to make sure that you will never need or want for anything. My right ear is ringing. Oh, Lord. They want to never see you or hear that you want or need for anything. Want or need for nothing. And they couldn't do it for you while they were here, so they're going to do it for you from the other side. And the way that they're going to do it is they're going to... They're going to arrange for somebody to come and give you this document being shown the word private investigator maybe on somebody's payroll to keep an eye on you there may be this person may have friends that may live around you or in the same area that you know, they may be like, hey, can you do me a favor and may just, you know, drive by this person's house, make sure their car is there. Um, do me a favor and do X, Y, and Z for me. Or can you interact with this person and make friends with them or, or something, something, somehow, something, okay? It's like they've got eyes on you. It's like the eyes in the sky, like eagle eye. Eyes in the sky, eyes all around you. Their eyes are on you watching stock. They, they're stalking. They have no other choice. They have no other choice. They've been left no other choice but to just watch you afar. If this person is still here in this plane of existence at this time, they are only able to watch you from a distance because they're trying to save face. They're trying to keep this on the hush hush because there may be so many people with their head up this person's backside, keeping an eye on what's going on with their finances that they can't do anything that they want to do. So they're being sneaky about it. They may have, I don't know, whoever may be on the payroll, if this person got money like this, if this person's got a CPA or somebody that handles the books, they may be real reallocating uh, funds to a different account that may be an investment or something else with a certain amount of money every month or every week or whatever. And this person, whoever they're, this official person that's going to serve these papers to you or hand you these, I keep saying served. I don't know why I keep saying served, but whatever, handing you papers, um, this person may have more than one job and it's basically the job that this person has, whoever this official person is collective, I feel like they have more than one job. I feel like it's not only to keep their eye on you, but also to make sure that, you know, the relationship between whoever your person is and them collective are, stays strong and well connected and kind of underground, so to speak. So that way that he can keep an eye on you. I said he, because I see a man, but take it how it is. The energy can flip, okay? I'm being told the ancestors have, the ancestors have a big, has their big hands, their hands, big, I'm being told their big hands all over this. 
divinely orchestrated, divinely guided. Surround yourself with protective energy. That's what the that's what that's what the ancestors are doing. They're surrounding you collective with protective energy because I'll tell you something. This person's community is very dangerous. They may have money. They may have serious connections in the community. Honestly, for this one, I'm getting goosebumps all over me. Can you see him? I don't know. Whatever. I wish this was a mimosa, not just orange juice. And I don't drink, but this person's family scaring the crap out of me. This person's family is dangerous when it comes to their connections in the community. If they want somebody to disappear, they may be able to do that. Especially when it comes to, to abundance, financial, monetary gain. 11, 11 on the timer. I just saw it. This may be a twin flame situation. I really feel like it is. I really feel like this is a twin flame union and this whole deck of cards is upside down. Whoops, that is too many spirits. Okay, thank you. Dream and journey. This person dreams about you collective regularly, I'm being told. Ultimately, y'all's souls have a journey together, okay? You guys are meant to be together in this life. Meant to be. But we all have free will and how people choose and what people allow to manipulate their choices is, you know, how the story goes for them. Now, if you're obedient to spirit and you follow what spirit's guiding you to do, in a picture-perfect world, if everybody did what they were told, this person may get up off their behind before it's too late and actually bring their behind to where they're supposed to be with you collective and help themselves heal before something crazy, detrimental, very tragic kind of situation happens, okay? Now, I'm being told because of stubbornness that that may not be happening, okay? That may not be happening at all, all right? So the thing about this is, is that spirit's asking you to grow within your current situation. Okay. Yes. This may linger over your head. You may have these gut feelings about whoever your person is coming back. If y'all are in separation or, you know, if you guys are talking on the DL, like, I don't know, this person is doing everything that they possibly can in this time, maybe even in real time or wherever on the, on the timeline that they are, okay? They're doing everything possible in their mind and heart and physical person to get their mind and heart in alignment to come back towards you. They're fighting it because they're afraid of what their family is going to do and say. This family in this community could be very dangerous, and because if you guys are in like, like local, like if you guys are local to each other, this person may actually fear for your safety. This person doesn't want you harassed. They don't want people bullying you. Don't want people picking fights with you. This person may be, I'm telling you, this family may be very well known in their community. I mean, very well known. Their name may be on, I don't know. They may have, they may have made major donations to the local schools, colleges, libraries, museums, businesses, whatever. Their name may be all over their town. You may see it anywhere in their, I don't know, in the whole county that you know, all right, that you live in. This per, this family may be really, really well known. And the thing is, is because they are what people consider upstanding citizens, it may be very hard for them to get caught in the act because they have such a big community of people that will keep their secrets, basically. So this person is doing what they can, what they feel is right to keep you safe by possibly staying in a loveless marriage with somebody that's low vibrational, toxic, a pain in the ass, I'm being told, excuse my language, typical sea witch. Very demanding, very controlling, very dark energy. Seven, 
set your sights higher. That that there right there is a message for this person collective. I don't I, I I feel like your sights are really set very high. Your standards are very high. I feel like this person needs to take a leaf out of your book. Okay. That's burning nasty. Okay. The moon, I'm seeing the sun and the moon. What looks like, what is that? That looks like Taurus, Jupiter, Pisces, Neptune, sun, masculine energy, feminine energy, and there's a few other signs I don't know. But this person may need to start looking at astrology. Okay, and the reason I say this is somebody may need to have a, um, you know, the, the, what are the, what are the pre-alarms for like the tornadoes, the first, first alert, whatever, like they need some kind of first alert on what's coming towards them. Okay. This person may very well need some kind of something new in their life to help guide them. I really, truly feel very old traditional ways of thinking very old very scary okay like think Salem witch trials Puritans versus the witches that's that's where I feel here and I feel like if this person starts doing anything out of the normal it'll automatically be linked to you okay because you may very well be a very extraordinarily spiritual person if you're watching me most likely you are these people may be very we'll just say it like this i'll be real i i have nothing against them most of my family is like this but they may be very like very conservative christian like protestant presbyterian catholic you know evangelical like all those very conservative like religious groups okay and the second this person looks at anything that's outside of their traditions They'll automatically put the two together and they will automatically know something's going on. Like, I feel like we have a micromanager on our hands. Like whoever this person is to you collective, whoever is in their community, they have a, a micromanager. I'm being told possibly a maternal uh, figure in their life, mother, aunt, sister, cousin, whatever, may even be wife. I don't know. There may be multiple people in the community that may have eyes on this person because of their track record with you. Their eyes are boring into this person's face from all angles. This person may be drinking really, really heavy. I'm afraid they're going to get in the car and they're going to do something stupid. Or it may be a freak, freaking accident. I feel like something this person needs to start seeing, looking at things from a different way, a different aspect. Somebody needs to, oh my God. Hi, priestess. Where's my thing? Where'd it go? Well, there you are. We have the high priestess. You high priestess, that, that for sure is the collective. You are a high priestess. You are a manifester. You are a spiritual being. You are walking hand in hand with spirit. Okay. This community, do they have something to fear? I'm being told they have something major to fear. Big freaking time. I don't know if y'all hear that train. There it is. Again, there it is again. There she is. Yep, there she blows. <laughs> this family has something to worry about. There's a manifestation that's in progress right now that's literally going to cause major tower issues on these uh, conservative um, tyrants. Micromanaging nags. That's, that's exactly what they are. Micromanaging nags. Something major is going to happen. And it may very be, well be you showing up at this person's funeral, wake, burial, whatever. Showing up looking like a boss, looking like money, smelling like money. Bossed up with, with papers in your hand and a check for whatever amount of money that this person's leaving you. And you show up, possibly with security, because that'd be a smart thing to do. There's that train again. Show up with security, show up with people, show up with a lot of people, show up like 10 deep, my dude, because this, this community may come after you hard, 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 hard. And the thing is, is whoever that official person is that came up and went collective, I got papers for you. That person's going to be standing there 
in line with you, top rank in this free, who, whatever crowd of people you show up with, whatever your posse is, this person, whoever this person is, will be standing next to you, hand in hand saying, I did this. I brought these, this person here because this person had every single right to know what is going on. This, whoever your person is collective, has somebody out there keeping an eye on you to help you. Yes, they're stalking. Yes, they may not be handling this the right kind of way, but they are. There he is. There you, there, this your twin. There you, there you are. Let's do back to back so you guys come together in full. There you go. Both of you, right here. This person that's been put on payroll or asked to do this, this person is helping you to finally heal what needs to be healed in this lifetime between y'all two. Okay. There's that perception. Oh, I see a snake in the grass. Be devoted and committed. This person, whoever your person is, should have been devoted and committed. Hopelessly devoted to you. Yes. I don't know why Greece is coming through, but that song, somebody's hopelessly devoted to you. They should have been. They should have been hopelessly devoted to you. They should have been committed to you. They should have been able to be there with you to enjoy the, the growth and reap the rewards of your growth and growth that, that, that happened on this journey that you've been put on. You had to have been woken up to the fact that you're a high priestess by this point, collective. So you've had to have got started on your spiritual journey by this point, okay? And if this person would have been able to come through and be there with you and been devoted to you and committed and all of these things, they would have been able to, re to reap the benefits. And they could have prolonged the, the inevitable that may be happening to them right now. They may, I'm telling you, it has something to do with all, whatever. Please shift your perception of this person collective. I was doing a TikTok reading. It went into two parts. And it was talking about how um, you may have disappointment in your heart because of this person. Please shed that. And go check that out um, on YouTube, or excuse me, TikTok. Check out those readings, please, because I feel like this may have something to do with that. So please go to my TikTok and check that out. Um, Spirit saying, shed your old skin. Shed that disappointment that you may have in your heart about this person, knowing, you know, that your heart really is, you know, that you, this person may have really had your heart, whatever, and what they did to protect you may very well have caused disappointment, but you don't know what happened underneath it all. You don't know what happened outside of whatever correspondence you guys had together before the separation. Okay. You do not understand what this person may have had to go through to be able to get this accomplished. It may have taken bravery. This person may have had to be seriously honest with themselves saying, if I leave my community, if I walk away from all of this, I may put my person in danger of ridicule, embarrassment, physical altercations, legal altercations, constant back and forth between family and the, a new collective. Like this person is seriously doing everything in their power. They're suffering. Believe me, they are suffering. And let me tell you, they're, they're turning to intoxicants to get them through this. I mean, heavily. More now than ever before, and they may be ex exploring th other things, okay? This person may be turning into um, a, an alcoholic, a drug addict, something, okay? Trust your instincts collective. Whatever this means to you, I'm going to just say it like this. Trust your instincts about the situation, okay? Reflect on it. Allow yourself to experience your emotions about it. Let it out and trust what your, your instincts are telling you about all of this. Sharing needles. Sharing needles. Trust in higher forces. And I see sh sharing needles. He gave up his trust in the higher forces, feeling like 
a failure to God for not following his heart. Regretting the fact that he didn't trust in spirit more. Hating himself for it. Beating himself up mentally, emotionally. Being abusive to oneself physically. Maybe I'm seeing somebody shooting, shooting something up. It may be steroids, heroin, whatever dope they're doing. could be anything. You can put anything in a fucking needle and, and shoot in your arm. Excuse my language. But I, look, I'll be real with you. I'm going to put the cards down. I'm going to talk to you guys. You know how I do it. Um, listen, I knew somebody for a real long time. I'm not going to say no names. Um, however, I am going to express this person as a they, them, so we don't... So nobody needs to know nobody's business, okay? So this particular person, I knew this person for a very long time, okay? We would do crazy stuff together. When I was doing drugs, this person was doing drugs. When I quit, this person stayed on, on the crazy, okay? Stayed on the crazy until, until the moment they died, okay? When I was informed this person passed away, the first thing that came to mind was that they OD'd. This person had a big time problem with needles. This person was shooting meth, coke, basically anything that they can put into a needle and get high. This person like uppers and all of that. And it was making this person delusional. Absolutely bat shit crazy. And I'll tell you what, I've never, yes, I, I know you guys see this in my arm. When I was younger, I didn't have a whole lot of money. When I first moved out to the West Coast, I lived in Salt Lake City. I didn't have a whole lot of money, and I ended up having to donate plasma f twice a week, every week for years. I have very weak veins in this arm. This was the one place that they could get a decent vein. That is why I have a scar there. I have never t taken IV drugs, so I don't know this personally from, from experience, but I will tell you this. In my humble opinion and those of those, you know, and others that have made this very clear to me, we feel that when you turn to needles that you have basically given up on life. And if you've given up on your higher, your trust in the higher forces, that could be very, the very reason why this person gave up and said to hell with it. I'm just going to do, if I'm going to be stuck in this miserable existence to try to save the love of my life, I'm going to get through it however I've got to get through it. And I really feel that whatever this person's doing, whether it's drugs, alcohol, both, whatever, whatever they're doing is about to lead them down a very dangerous path that may lead to something very scary that may... The next time you see this person, they may not, it may not be the greatest. I don't like this dark reading. I don't like this dark reading. I'm going to have to put it out. Okay. Learn from spiritual experiences. The thing is collective. If this is your story and if you do get that knock on the door, okay, whatever happens from that moment till the moment you walk in to whatever funeral gatherings burial whatever the service is that you go to to make your first initial appearance in this situation it may even be the reading of the will i don't know okay whatever the case may be there is going to be an extraordinary spiritual experience it's like somebody standing over a grave the rest of the uh, the funeral party may have left and you may be the last one there. You're standing over the grave, crying, you lay a rose down, and the second you lay a rose down, a swarm of blackbirds just fly out of the trees in the cemetery and just take off and show you. You may even see a bird, like a, a beautiful white dove with something in its beak that may sit on the, the headstone or somewhere near you, very visible. It may, may You may have a moment of feeling at one with nature. You have may, may have a, a moment of euphoria, something. There's going to be some kind of spiritual experience that happens to you at this particular time that's going to basically heal y'all's soul because you were not able to join together in this physical, in this physical reality in that moment where you express love with that single red rose was a moment of complete healing, complete release of any disappointment, anger, regret, whatever. In that moment, you were able to heal y'all selves. It's unfortunate that it had to happen that way 
It was the only way to keep you safe, Collective, because you have a divine mission in this life to help an enormous amount of people in different ways. It's all going to be different for every way, for every person, but the main concept of it, which is you, will be the same. You have extraordinary purpose in this life. And this is the way spirit was able to do it, to be able to keep you here healed and going about your mission while this person gets to deal with whatever it is that they need to deal with until you two are reunited in the, uh, in the spirit realm. Final messages from the ancestors, please, spirit. Oh, yeah. I really feel like this is... We're, in, we're coming into the danger zone here. This is a very dangerous... Tread lightly. Tread lightly. Danger zone. This person's family is going to get knocked down. Knocked down. Major, major. They may go from being top-notch in their community to piss poor broke without a pot to piss in. Like, not that I wish that on anybody. I don't wish hard financial hardship on anybody. I don't wish embarrassment on anybody because I sure as hell don't want that to happen to me. Okay? However, Spirit's telling me that this may very well, whatever this is, whatever dangerous mindsets these people are in, oh my God, my heart, my stomach and my heart keep fluttering when I talk about this family. Something ain't right there. This family is extraordinarily dangerous. If this family didn't come at you like this or didn't act like this, they may have had, there may have been graced by God if they would have actually done the right thing and not, you know, prevented this person from being happy. Oh, believe me, spirit's going to rain down upon these people, specifically the, 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 whatever that feminine energy is that I was talking about, the nag, the narcissistic nag that micromanages that's literally up this person's backside, watching their every move, accusing, accusation, accusation, accusation. I'm telling you, they're literally, they're watching with a magnifying glass. I wish I had my son's magnifying glass to show you the severity. It's like a text message. This person's got the magnifying glass. Even if it says, I love you, this person's looking between the lines saying, okay, what, what did you do? Who are you talking to? Yeah, like th this, per this person is literally being extra extra annoying, extra, you know, whatever. I really feel like this person's trying to milk this guy's nuts for everything he's worth right down to maybe even getting knocked up by this person to keep this person under their control. Spirits asking this, this, your person collective to be strong and fearless and in their own way, they are, they're being brave by standing up for what they feel is the right thing to do to help save your behind. Okay. On the bottom, right now, collective, the best way to, to see this through is to stay as clear headed as possible. Okay. I'm going to be, this is what spirit is telling me. Please grab a piece of paper, pause this, grab a piece of paper, grab a pen right now. Do that for me. I'll give you a second. Okay. Here is what spirit wants you to do for the next 90 days. Okay. Excuse me. I don't know where that came from. That kind of hurt. So I'm going to take this as confirmation. Drink water. Stay away from stimulants. Coffee. Let go of control. Spirit is telling you right now with this message. Today you might feel like the need to let go of stuck emotions. Or you could be struggling with some emerging feelings. Let go of control. Okay. If you feel like, yeah, I've been feeling like I need to like get rid of the coffee. Get rid of the fatty foods. Get rid You've been feeling it, but you need you know, it. Stubborn. Let go of the need to control everything and do as I'm telling you. Please, for your own good. If you don't want to, that's your choice. Between you and spirit, do what you want. Water. Drink nothing but water if you can help it. A little bit of unsweetened iced tea if you need a little bit of caffeine, but no more stimulants than that. You can have your juice. You can get away from refined sugars. No sugar, no chocolate, very little simple carbs, white breads, that sort of thing. You may want to take a break from any crappy eating. If you're not eating healthy, maybe you need to start eating healthy. If you're eating meat, maybe you need to take a break from the meat. If you are eating fatty meats, maybe you need to start doing more lean. Instead of eating the red meat, eat the turkey. You know what I'm saying? Switch from being, uh, you know, a three, four meal a day at the fast food window to maybe a home cooked meal. What you need to do is you need to detox your body right now because there are messages, high priestess, high priest that need to come through and spirit needs your body as pure as snow, the best that you can. 
okay, as pure as snow so you can get the messages and you can handle it the right way. There are going to be ups, downs, ins, outs, all the things, the good, the bad, the ugly that's going to happen during this time, and you will be able to handle it as gracefully as possible. Do not underestimate yourself. Nightly showers, nightly journaling, nightly meditation and prayer. I keep seeing baths too. Somebody might need to take nightly spiritual baths. Take your shower, take your spiritual bath, then do your journaling, do your meditation, prayer, and journaling. That may need to be the routine. Take your shower, take your spiritual bath, do your meditation and prayer, and then do your journaling every night. Okay? If you can't do it every night, do it as often as, as frequently as you are able. Okay? You need to be cleansed and you need to be cleansed and kept pure for the rest of, for the next few, the, the next few months. It's hard work. Believe me, I understand it. And as a spiritual being walking hand in hand with spirit as a high priestess earth angel that I am. Okay. I get this. If you are not used to this sort of thing, it's going to be miserable. I'll tell you the first freaking month is going to be the hardest. <sighs> Let me tell you, the first month I decided to give up coffee, oh my God, I felt like a walking zombie. And that's been almost, that's been over a year and a half. I haven't had, to, I have had one cup of coffee in the last year and a half. Mm -hmm. And from somebody that was drinking, you know, the happy go-go juice rocket fuel, that's a lot. Giving up sugars has been a nightmare. I occasionally will have a little just to kill the sweet tooth, but even that makes me sick now. It's taken like the first month is the hardest when it comes to this sort of thing. But if you are going to learn from spiritual experiences, you have to be as pure as possible. Okay? As pure as possible. Spirit's saying there's more that needs to come out here. This is going to be another long reading. I'm sorry. I, that's just the way it is. I see these bells. Somebody needs to get witch's bells. Okay? Or the Tibetan prayer bells. I had some. I need to find where I put them. But anyway, some kind of sound bath, some kind of sound, like to, 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 to clear the sound energy, maybe a singing bowl oh, from my rose bush. Anyway, maybe a singing bowl, witch's bell, something the energy needs to be cleared. You may burn sage, different resins, incense, different types of smudge sticks. That clears one, you know, several different types of energy, but there's sound vibrations that need to be cleared as well. I'm being told a sound bath may actually help you heal in more ways than one. You may want to look into that as well. Drop your shields and let the and let the higher forces lead you. Let go of control issues. It's important. You need to be free to let your spiritual abilities come through all the way through some may be scarier than others okay as a psychic myself as a medium myself i can tell you this when you are opening up to gifts specifically spiritual ones that involve you seeing things it can be intense and very scary okay especially if you live alone or you spend a lot of time alone it can be really unnerving seeing stuff out of the corner of your eyes like I do, or if you are like a full-blown medium and you're able to see people right in front of you that weren't there five seconds ago that haven't walked through your front door. Yeah, that could be intimidating where you're sitting in your chair and you look up and, oh, there may be your great-great-grandmother standing in front of you like, hey, babe, how you doing? It's, you know, it's nice to see you. Can we talk? Like that may scare the living crap out of you. You may have these abilities and you may be, you know, using intoxicants. This may be for your person collective or it may be you, okay? Somebody has abilities that they may be using intoxicants to keep at bay so they don't have to fully experience them. Spirit saying, please drop your shields. We are not going to do anything to intimidate you or scare you. We are doing this to help you get to the abundance that you so desperately deserve. Please, please, please stop blocking the goodness coming towards you. Once you do that, hold the space, okay? Because I feel like this is more like the the hermit in tarot. You know, that's that represents, that symbolizes like a lantern, the crystal at the top glowing. 
I feel the, the, the age, the long dreadlock beard and all of this, the white hair, I feel like this might represent the ancestors that are all over this. There are an, there's ancestors. Oh, somebody, a new subscriber. Well, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining and being a part of the family. Um, I really feel like there is an ancestor here. One very special one in particular, on one for each person. On the high priestess side, there is a feminine, a female energy that loved you so much. They continue to linger to be able to stay and guide you, protect you lead you and show you the things you need to, to be seen to, to be seen that you need to see to help you heal the things from your past that has kept you stuck in stagnant collective this masculine whoever the high priest is has a masculine energy on the other side that's been maybe talking to you in your sleep visiting you somehow trying to help you stay in your truth and your divinity while guiding this person to do whatever it is that they're doing to try to protect you Okay, spirit saying, please drop your shields for the goodness. Keep it up when it comes to the darkness. Protect yourself from the darkness. Okay, you don't need to protect yourself from spirit. Spirit will not allow anything to harm you. Okay, Angel Michael, he is there always and forever to protect you. Angel Metatron will always guide you in his way for you to help you on your ascension process as long as your heart is pure. Okay. The angels are with you. Archangel Raphael will help you heal your relationships within your family. There's that energy again. Thank you, Raphael. I appreciate you. We'll be there to help you. Okay. If this person collective is having sleepless nights, Archangel Raphael has his hands on this person's forehead, trying to get their minds to relax, but the intoxicants are preventing him from helping. Okay. There are angels and ancestors working on this round the clock and have been for what I'm being told years. Okay. For years. Right now in this time of separation, the both of you are meant to be reflecting. Hopefully you both are doing that. One of you at least is. And it may very well be the masculine sitting on his chair watching the TV, just kind of staring through it, not really watching it or paying attention, but just staring there, looking like they're engulfed in their show, but really on their mind, all they can do is think about the time that you two spent together. The grabbing you and picking you up and swirling you around and skipping along happily through the wildflowers, if that's what you did, or you just had those moments of pure bliss where you felt like you were walking hand in hand, like Jack and Jill, walk, you know, like skipping through a freaking wildflower field. Having the greatest relationship ever, bringing out, excuse me, the youthfulness of the relationship, all of it. Like this person can't stop thinking about you, doesn't want to stop thinking about you. It's the only way this person can manage to get through the day besides what they're doing intoxicant wise. Okay. This person is deeply scarred, deeply traumatized, wait for important information. And it's going to be that knock on that damn door with that person with that big ass envelope telling you that this person may have passed on. That's going to be the important information. Okay. That's the important information that will help you follow the voice of your soul. The things that you may have been trying to block out or the disappointment may be uh, holding you back from seeing these things or hearing these things that your, your soul's trying to tell you, that's going to be the wake-up call you need, collective. Or vice versa, however it is. It's going to be exactly what you need to unleash that beast within you when it comes to facing these snakes in this person's community. Oh, I'm going to tell you, you are going to stand in your truest power. Oh, my God. Oh my God, I'm telling you, when you walk in looking like a baddie collective and you put your delicate little toe down and you say, look, I don't know what the hell it is y'all did to this person, but nope. And you start baying at the moon and you start showing your high priestess self and you start whoop, da, 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 whatever it is that you're going to be doing. I'm going to tell you that fear is going to shift from, you know, whatever fear they may have tried to put in your heart to the other way around. Because the moment you stand up, I'm not telling you, it's going to be so public 
collective that their entire community will know. You will call this person, these people out right in front of their whole community. And that's going to be because of the person standing next to you that gave you those papers, that gave you the whole story and told you everything that was going to happen or that everything that was happening and everything that had happened and all the things. Oh yeah, that person standing right there is going to be standing with their arms like this. Mm -hmm. Let me see, let me try to, let me see you try to lie about this in front of your entire community. I'm standing right here. And this may even be somebody so close to this community, like family. This may be somebody's brother. This may be somebody's sister. This may be somebody in their community, like their best friend, somebody. The thing is, is it's being done on the DL. Whatever this is, is being done on the DL. Because here's why. The family, because how close everybody is in this community, nobody can know. This, your person collective trusts this person big time. With everything they got, this person is putting faith in their friend. Okay? Whoever this is to them. To, they trust them enough to go behind the entire community's back to hand you those documents, that letter, and that freaking, the death certificate, all the things, okay, to come and rectify this situation because their friend is of the purest white light. Their heart is pure. They know the situation. They see these people for who they are. And finally, it's go, the, the ancestral curse will be broken, okay, because I'm telling you, it has to do with the money. It has to do with the money. It really does. And the fact of the matter is, is let me tell you this, if this person left you everything, I mean every dime, and it's not leaving a single thing to anybody in this community, oh my God, the burning asses that are going to be in them chairs, sitting there listening to the, the lawyer or whoever it is reading the will to hear that, you know, we'll say mommy, daddy, get, I don't know, maybe high, high priests, all the clothes, Okay, brother, sister, cousin, uncle, friend, whatever, gets more materialism stuff, personal things. If they're married, the, 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 the spouse gets the house, the kids, maybe a little something, whatever, but only until they're old enough to, to receive it on their own and their parent, other parent will have no access to it. Like this person's being very strategic about how they do this. Okay. Very strategic. Because they see you as the light. They know. Even if the, the, the separation didn't go as planned, it went exactly towards their plan. It didn't go exactly towards their plan, but it went exactly according to Spirit's plan. Okay? This person got to see you as the light. Seeing your heart as pure. They may have had one, you know, they may have had one opinion about you. And then when they faced you and the separation happened, you may have changed their mind about you in a big way. Okay, which may very well be the reason why they went and tried to save you from uh, whatever ridicule and embarrassment their family was meant to try to put you through. But because of your light collective, because of the way you handled things with this person and whatever went down, that's going to be your, that was your saving grace. Ignite your passion. You may have ignited this person's passion for you. They may have fallen in love with you in those moments more than ever before. You sow, you sowed seeds in those moments, and right now they're starting to grow. You 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 about to face a major seedling. You gonna walk into the greenhouse of your of your life and all the seeds you've sown. And this one particular one is blossoming faster than anything else in the entire greenhouse of your entire life. This one's coming as fast as possible. It's all part of that manifestation that you did collective manifesting. Because of this, you were able to transform and unveil your gifts. And you will because of this. Okay. You may have already started to unveil your gifts. You may have already started showing them, you know, to people, you know, your transformation is obvious. You obviously made an impact on this person and how they feel about you. You, your grace and your gracefulness and your movement and your actions is the reason why you are being divinely blessed because of your light on the bottom. You took charge of your life with authority. You made changes. You did the right thing. You stood in your power. You stood in your truth and you're going to be rewarded for it. Okay. So with that being said, let's move on because I, I want to know more. 
I want to know more. And I, when I want to know more, I want to know more right now. So whatever that may be, let's just clean this up real quick. So I'm really nervous, Collective. I don't know why I feel so nervous, but I feel really nervous about this. It's like major shifts are happening in the universe. Major ones. Major shifts. For some, it's going to be really good. For others, it's going to be very traumatic. Okay. All right, spirit. Let's get some messages. Seeking social acceptance. All right, so that's what this may look like. In your eyes right now, before the clarity of whatever documents are being presented to you, okay, you may have in your heart and your mind that this person was seeking social acceptance, which is why they stayed where they were in, where they were at, doing what they were doing, with whom they were doing it with. Wrong. 50-50 on the timer, okay? There's a 50-50 chance that it's right, but in my in how I feel about this is I don't feel that that's right at all. At all. I feel that this person, maybe in the beginning, may have held a grudge or whatever, and no. It was, it was based out of fear fear of neglect they may have they have uh, may have abandonment issues neglect issues this person the micromanaging maternal figure whoever this woman is in this person's life it, it's I, okay i really feel like this is somebody's mother i really 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 do um i feel like this mother is the leader of the entire community like this person has control over pretty much everything that happens in the community of their, of their family. Okay. Where they go, where they go to eat, where they go to church, where they go to school, who they marry, what they do, what they do for work, how they ha handle their free time. Everything, this person, this maternal figure, this woman has her fingers in. She's got her, uh, she, she knows the AF. Like this person can't mind her own damn business to save her freaking life. Like mind your damn business woman. I don't give no shits who you are. I really don't. I'm fired up, man. Like this person literally micromanaged, helicopter parent, all the time, all the time up this person's ass, all the time need to know all the things, controlling this person's life from the moment they freaking took their first breath, controlling everything about this person, who they talk to, where they eat, what they eat, how they eat, where, what they dress like, how they dress, how they speak, how they act, everything, because in their mind, they're not perfect enough. This narcissist looks at their own child as not good enough. A piss poor excuse of a son, I'm being told. A failure. A, a disappointment. A miserable existence, a liar, a cheater, a manipulator. All the things that this person was called possibly by their own mother or made to feel that way. Forced to believe that they can't do nothing without mommy dearest to say so. So in your eyes collective, what they did may look like so seeking social acceptance, but in reality, in their mind and in their heart, that may have lasted for about a minute. And then the reality of the situation kicked in after whatever illusions were lifted. It could have been the rose colored glasses from Mercury retrograde, whatever the case may be. Okay. Or honest fear of losing everything and then having the ridicule, you know, on you, them, the whole deal. They were trying to take the lesser of the two evils. narcissism is real bro I don't like narcissism it's it's terrifying and I say terrifying because these people these people's minds know no bounds when it comes to it the manipulation the deception the evil the plain evil that this person has in their heart the controlling ma manipulation it's ridiculous what else spirit Something just flew. There's High Priestess again. Oh, something just flew in my eye. Ugh. Okay. High Priestess. 
shallow with the big ego, rebuke the darkness back to hell where it belongs, call your power back and hold on to it tightly. Yes. All right. The shallow with the big ego. Mm. This person may have thought that about you, maybe a little bit. <sighs> they may have been shallow with the big ego. I'm being told on the nose big time. They may got looks. They may got real good looks. This person may be a dime piece, okay? They may have thought you had a little ego. You might, and that's okay. A little ego, a little pride is all right. Just don't let it get to be like full-fledged pride and ego, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, this person was humbled, I'm being told. Was humbled right after that separation. I'm telling you, raked across the coals badly. This person was put on a bed of nails and left there. And it's like their weight is pushing them straight down into the freaking spikes. The nails, I mean. Mm -hmm. Blood is being shed. I see a ten of swords. In I see the ten of swords right now. Big time. This person is laying face flat. Ten swords in their back, completely pouring all the blood out of their body. Okay. The reason that happened is because of this high priestess. You, rebu you rebuked the darkness back to hell where it belonged and you called your power back and this person got to feel that. Big freaking time. And now that you've called your power back and you're holding it for yourself, high priestess, two times in a row, okay? This person's big shallow ego, been humbled. The need for seeking social ex uh, acceptance has been shut down. This person is being made well aware of their poor decisions and their choices and whatever. And that may th that mom that moment of humbling may very well be the reason why they cho they continue to choose to stay where they're at because they got to see. I'm telling you, I really feel that this person was put under an illusion spell of some sort. I don't know if it was Mercury retrograde or if there was actual spell work being done. But I really, really, truly feel that this person had some rose-colored glasses that were on that got lifted when that separation happened. They may, if they're married, if they were married, I'll tell you this. Their spouse had an inkling. This person, your person may be a cheater, okay? This person may have cheated in the past, may have come to you in the past during their relationship, and tried to do stupid stuff like there's a there's a bad taste in this in this in your person's spouse's mouth okay about this person once this person once your person felt like they were in a safe space to be able to play around with you do what they wanted with you and keep the peace at home they felt like they were in the clear until you may have said something about it called them out their spouse may have found correspondence between the two of you. They may have walked in on you two talking. They may have somehow drove past you guys and saw you guys hanging out or having dinner. Something came out. The relationship got put on blast. Everybody knew. This per your person's spouse may have ran their mouth to the community, and that's when all of this started happening. Then the separation happened. Whatever happened there. Okay? And the moment that separation happened or within the moments of the separation happening, you called your power back, okay? I don't know if you told somebody, you know, told this person's spouse, or they confronted you and you told the truth, whatever the case may be. In those moments, you called your power back, and from that moment going forward, it's been a freaking nightmare. This person may have been put back under a spell. I don't know. I don't know if there's any, sp I don't know what it is, but it wasn't good. You do the crime, you do the time. Yeah, they ha they are being punished for their, their adultery. And they're taking this punishment. They're paying their penance in the physical because of how they feel on the inside. They're completely denying, denying it. They're completely denying how they feel. They're not saying nothing. But the, the people around them are starting to notice something's not right. Specifically because of the, intox the, the um, excessive use of the intoxicants that they may be using. This is a lot. Without spirit, anything else?
This is the last chance. This was the last chance. The only other opportunity they, that spirit feels is, necessary. I don't know. This is the last chance. We're just going to leave it like that. This is the last chance I'm being told that for this person to get it right. I'm being told yes on the nose big time. It's the last time for this person to do it the right way. What's she doing now? We've already established that this person is definitely watching you along with someone else. Could possibly wa be watching you do all the fun adventures that you're either doing or about to do. Holding a grudge, open your mind to the impossible. Collective, unfortunately, I'm being told that is you, the one holding a grudge. If it's not a grudge, you're holding disappointment in your heart. You're disappointed in this person, and that needs to be released, and you need to open your, you should open your mind to the impossible because spirit's work and his magic right now, okay, to help you and this person have the healing that you so desperately deserve. Okay. Ha! Huh. Good. Good. I'm so happy to see this. I am so happy to see this spirit. Thank you. All right. This person, when those rose-colored glasses and those illusions were finally lifted, this person realized the two timing snakes that he had surrounding him. He realized that there were evil eyes watching not only himself, but you also collective. Okay. Which then triggered escape mode to activate which is leading this person down a spiritual journey, okay? Which may be completely, completely hidden from the people in his community to try to prevent them from finding out what's going on, okay? This person may be, like I said, may very well be using those intoxicants to block out the things Spirit's trying to show him. He may be facing an awakening. Spirit's trying to tell him to be still and know him, trying to get him to stop doing the things. So the angels... Because what she's doing now is tearing me apart. Saul's twins. Can't eat. Can't sleep. Can't, yeah, it's dang spirit come through. Whoop, whoop, spirit. Yes. Can't eat. Can't sleep. Can't think straight. I wonder why. Because they got entrapped by a false twin that they are now dealing with so that they can keep you safe while they sit there stalking along with whoever it is that's helping them keep an eye on you. And it's tearing this person apart. This person wants to be doing all them adventures with you. This person wants to go experience all the fun things. You want to go on the roller coasters, they want to go with you. You want to go fishing, they want to go with you. They want to, you want to garden, they want to garden with you. You want to go shopping, they want to go with you. You want to go out to eat and have a good time, go drinking and go dancing, they want to go with you. They realize that the person that manipulated them and tricked them and entrapped them was truly the false twin. That may be working hand in hand with whoever their maternal person is. About this whole damn ordeal. This is the real deal, not a test run. Low vibrational energy. Hey, I'm hoping that spirit is awakening this person to those things right now before it's too late. I hope this person realizes that this is their last chance and that they need to have more faith in spirit and realize that if they walk away from this now that they may have a chance. Marriage is a sacred union not to be taken for granted. Uh, also, this could be karmic for being a master manipulator and cheating or thinking that they can be a master manipulator and keep you under the radar and keep them, keep you from their other half. Yeah, this is, this is karma for that. This is serious karma for that. What is this? Uh, get your own bag, boo. I'm also being told with this one that there may be financial ties. If there are children, there may be, you know, one parent may be the sole income provider um, while the other one stays at home doing pretty much nothing. Oh, look what I see on the bottom too. See which interference in a pregnancy trap. Ha! Just as I was saying that, look at that spirit. This person may have kids with, the, the, your person may have kids with the, whoever the sea witch is, and that may be the sea witch's way of staying at home, kicking their feet up, living in the lap of luxury while their spouse is busting their ass doing whatever. Possibly trying to milk, like I was saying, tr possibly trying to milk this person's nuts for everything and anything they can, possibly down to an either another baby or a, a baby, period just to keep them entrapped in their life 
for the money, for the clout, for the status, for the community, all the things that may end up going up in smokes anyway. Once this person's either come to you collective or moved on, this person is going, I mean, the turbulence that's going to go through this community is ridiculous. I'm going to go through one more time and see what else comes through. I'm going to go all the way through it this time. All right, Steven. Hopelessly devoted to you. I just see Sandy sitting outside singing. It's because they're your perfect pair. What else, Spirit? Let's just get all the... That's too many. All right. Thank you. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. The second... All right, I'm going to read it just like this. Spirit saying, the moment you walk in as, a, as the bossed up high priestess that you are, showing the spiritual being side that you are... Oh, the, the hostility is real. The hostility... I'm telling you that the, the words that are going to come out of these people's mouths is disgusting. They don't want to admit that this, that you two are the perfect people together. They don't want to do it. They don't want to admit it. Okay. This people pleaser needs to cast out all the darkness and surrender to the divine light before he gets tricked once again by another two timing snake or the same two timing snake. This person needs to be made aware that it's time to move their ass before it's the opportunity is gone. We already know that this is the last opportunity for this particular situation. Okay. If they're paranoid about what the repercussions of their actions, the thing is, is if they recognize that spirits there with them, they won't have to worry about it. Okay. This person needs to stop looking to the past or the present will pass them by. They should uh, embrace the tidal wave of emotions that they're feeling. Get on that surfboard, ride them, let themselves feel what they need to feel and move their ass on. Maybe go back to school themselves and get a degree. You know, maybe follow the Gigi's footsteps. What are you? Hopelessly devoted to you. Like I freaking said, I cannot make this stuff up. I wrote this card. I remember the day I wrote this card. Do you see the difference in my handwriting? Yeah, that was a card that happened in the middle of nowhere. I felt like I was being taken over when I was getting that card. Now I understand why. Somebody is dedicated and hopelessly, de they want to hopelessly devote their entire life to raising you up, making you their empress, their princess for life, forever and eternity. They want you. They want to wrap you up in a big bow and, un and, and then lay you out and unpackage you and have you as their special treat. They want, to they want to engulf you in their love. They want to show you what's good. They want to lay it on you. They want to do all the things. Hopelessly devoted to you. Ha! They got to they gotta come clean about it all, though. They need to tell their community. They need to tell their spouse that they are, that all the shit they ever said about you was a lie, that they truly are hopelessly devoted to you, that you are their perfect pair, and they don't want any hostilities or trouble if they were to leave and go towards you. The thing is, is these people are freaking psychopaths. I feel like this person's spouse is an actual lunatic. Actual lunatic that may end up having a gun. I mean, they may end up with a gun. I mean, this, the, the, shit. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm sorry about my language. I'm sorry about my, I'm sorry about my language. I'm sorry about my language. I really am. That, that there is funny as hell. Hopelessly devoted to you. Yep. That's right. This person is surrounded by energy vampires. Literally currently sucking the life out of them. Oh, Alright, time for the tarot for some closing messages. <sighs> Damn, bro. This twin flame thing's getting crazy up in here. I don't know what the hell's going on the on the internet or in the collective or in the universe in general. I saw the ace of cups at the bottom. Spirit's trying to bring you your tr uh, your chalice of love, man. Flip the script with Motorola. <laughs> yeah, 
Actually, I'll take it like, thank you, Spirit. Spirit's saying when this, uh, this chalice of love is offered to you, it's definitely going to flip the script. It's going to flip the script with something that might end up being the size of an engagement ring. This person, you might have known each other a long time. You might have known each other a long time. And maybe from the very beginning, this person had the image of a, the ring they wanted to put on your finger. Oh, man. I see the six of cups. This person wants to bring you. The... I can buy myself flowers. Yes, you can, Miss Independent, I'm being told. This person wants to do it for you, though. This person wants to. Okay, now I understand what this is. Thank you, Spirit. I'm sitting here like trying to figure out. Spirit wants you to know that you being independent is absolutely exactly what they want you to do on the, on the other side, okay? In this realm, this particular masculine, your high priest, yeah, that one wants to have you feel relaxed enough to actually be in your feminine energy all the way. Wants you to feel safe and secure, happy and fulfilled. So you can just be you. You want to get dressed up and go out on a date? Get your ass up and go get dressed up and he will take you on a date. All you have to do is walk out the room and say, honey, I want to go to dinner. And 20 minutes later, this person showered, dressed, and taking you out. Okay? This person wants you to feel safe. Not that because they want to take your power, but they want to add to it by giving you the peace of mind that you, that you need to relax. To heal yourself from the years of stress that you have had on you because of the lack of having this union. This person was created specific with you in mind specifically. This person is your perfect pair for a reason. This person will fulfill you in all aspects of life that you cannot fulfill for yourself because of the amount of stress that you're under. Okay? This person wants to see you come alive in a way that they may have never even seen or may have, may have not seen since you two were very young. Okay? This person wants you to be fully in your empress power. Fully in your manifestation power. Because the moment you are, the abundance will start flowing. All right. What are the closing messages for the collective spirit? What are the closing messages for the collective spirit? Please and thank you. Closing messages, please. Ace of Pentacles. A financial new beginning, a financial opportunity, new job, new business, money, investments, savings, prosperity, security, stability, abundance, and manifestation. Just exactly what I said. Y'all are a power couple. That offering may come in the size of a ring. The moment that ring touches your finger, the abundance will start flowing. However, spirit saying this is going to require patience. That is the slowest moving knight in the deck, being the ace, the, the knight of pentacles. Patience and patience will lead you to perseverance. Unexpected sources of money and income. Time heals all wounds. Reliable, patient, conventional, trustworthy, hardworking people. Someone who preserves perseveres to reach a goal yes the goal here is the twin flame union okay the goal here is the twin flame union same coin different hand same coin okay it's all being presented like this this coin is being presented to you it's going to take a minute divine timings at play in your love life for sure okay there are imbalances indulgences, a lack of perspective, recklessness, all of that that needs to be taken care of first. I know my extremes. Now I seek peace. This person and those intoxicants, those belligerent things that are going on in this person's head is blocking their heart big time. This big time. Unhappy families, 
postponed, canceled reunions, leaving home, a pause to relax, narrow-minded, this, this, yeah, well, the disapproval comes from the family, the postpone or canceled re reunion, canceled, I don't think so, because one way or another, there's going to be a reunion, like I said, whether it's in the physical where you two are able to touch or you saying goodbye and laying that rose on somebody's grave, either which way the healing will happen, the soul tie will happen, and things that you two will be able to rest peacefully. I feel like the trauma and the turmoil this person's going through as they serve their penance for what they did is helping this person poss possibly, I don't, I don't know. I'm hoping that this is the case that this person is being taught what they need to be taught in the right amount of time to get them where they need to be before it's too late. Okay. Because their community, it's in reverse. Uh, uh, yeah. I feel like the, the out of control portion here, the, I don't feel like, I feel like this is very slow moving progress. Okay. I really, really, truly feel that this person is losing momentum. They are out of control of their own life. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Excuse me. I just, I really feel like the hastiness isn't there. They don't feel like they have any want to hurry this along because they're afraid of being turned away. They may know that you're disappointed. They may know that you're pissed at them. They may know. You, I mean, you guys do feel each other's, each other. So whether you recognize it or not, you do. I feel, I just got an overwhelming sense of exhaustion. Somebody may very well feel very exhausted about the situation. I feel like the spouse, your person's spouse collective may be getting very tired of this person being such a bump on a log. Let's forget it ever happened. Let's move past it. And this person's thinking how you guys make me live it every time we're together. Every time this person gets into a community gathering, he's always being ridiculed. Jokes are being made. Oh, are you going to cheat on your wife again? Or are you going to cheat on your whoever? Are you going to go run off with somebody else? Are you going to actually break apart your family to go have fun? Like being real jerks. And because of all of that, I'm telling you, whoever this person's spouse is collective, they feel that they won. Okay. And in the moment they may have, it's only temporary though. Okay. And here's the reason your person is getting sick and tired of this. Your person is getting sick and tired of the ridicule, the, just the drama, the trauma, all of it. This pain, this, like we saw escape mode activated. Yeah. It's making this person want to leave, which may also be killing their sex drive too which may be a sign from spirit, okay, that this person should not be laying with their spouse right now because they may be trying to milk their nuts for their seed to get impregnated so this person has no choice but to stay because they don't want to lose out on possible alimony, child support, the income and the luxuries of being a part of this family, whatever. Basically, this person wants to throw their hands up, walk away, say, you want my family? You want my life? You want all of this? You can freaking take it. I got everything that means something to me. I got to go. I got to go. And they may just dip. Justice, justice. There's that trellis of love. Okay. There's going to be a reunion. Justice will be served for what these people did to you and to this man collective. Let me tell you, there will be cause for celebration. There will be a cause. There will be a reunion. There will be cause for celebration and partying. There will be a gathering. There will be festivities. There will be an engagement. There will be a wedding. There will be happy times. There will be a baby. There will be babies and happiness and all of the parties and fun. 
Okay? There will be a new beginning. There will be new relationships, new romance, new love, happiness, joy, conception, fertility, pregnancy, celebration, socializing, and upspurge of new feelings. You may have felt something for this person at one point. Collective and spirit thing. It's nothing compared to what you're going to feel for this person. The moment you could to either communicate here in the physical or this person's freed from this the worldly freaking ties that they have here and they're able to communicate to you with from the other side okay it's all going to happen it's just going to take some time man it, it's moving as fast as fast as it as it's going to no obstacles will stop this person now hopefully okay we could have a libra we could have a Sagittarius. We could have a Cancer. Let's see. We got Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Virgo. This is Virgo energy. This is Aries energy. Yeah. Yeah. There's some really dark energies. What's underneath it? See, the thing is, is this person needs to weigh out their options, okay? They need to lay to rest this situation so it can all come to, so they can have a new beginning, okay? They should not accept this as de defeat. They will, they should not surrender because of this. They should not make changes that don't include walking away. Okay, we also have Aquarius here. We have Scorpio out here. We have, what are you? We have Virgo again, you know. Take it how it is. But right now, this needs to be laid to rest. This situation, this person needs to get up and go away from this situation before it's too damn late. Collective, this is, this is very serious. I, it's it's very dark and I don't necessarily like it but spirit wants me to put it out so I'm going to so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there thank you Holy Spirit thank you angels ancestors loved ones and spirit guides that have ascended to the highest light to protect and guide me through this reading I close this reading collective look and an hour and 22 minutes into this reading I'm going to tell you this I hate dark readings I hate them and rebuke them because not this does seem like it's gonna end decently for you where you will come out abundant there's the eight of wands again don't be hasty okay don't make don't make decisions by the seat of your pants okay take your time think about it relax meditate contemplate pray like i said take your baths take your journaling time take your meditation time okay collective period end of story that's, that's what I got for you, okay? Please take this how it is for you. Please don't force anything. And just know Gigi loves you. Until next time, light, love, and blessings. Bye for now.